hey what's up guys i'm back here making another video and this time i'm going to show you guys all my entire playstation 4 library my entire collection all the games that i have on the ps4 including at the end of the video i'm going to include all my limited run games as well as the limited run box sets that i have and I don't have every single limited run game, but I do have a decent amount of them. So without any other delays, I am going to jump right at it. Um, they're mostly alphabetic in alphabetical order. Um, not perfectly alphabetically ordered, but the A's are with the A's, the B's with the B's, the C's with the C's. And then at the end of the video, all my limited run games, which are not in alphabetical order. But, you know, here we go. First off, of course, the numbers are going to go first, and the first one is going to be Seven Days to Die here. So, Survivor Horror, horror Game here, uh, rated M for Mature. Then I got here Angry Birds, um, Star Wars. Adventure Time, this is the, the Finn and Jake Investigations. America's um, Greatest Game Shows, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, Alien Isolation, Akiba Strip, only on the PlayStation 4, um, Among the Sleep, Sadesco title, I, I really like Sadesco, it's a pretty cool uh, independent um uh, company here Aragami the collector's edition pretty cool game Agony picked this up at uh on Black Friday actually this year Aurea this is another Sadesco mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed uh, Unity Assassin's Creed Origins, and uh, that's it for the A's, now I'm doing the B's here, um, Battlefield 4, still sealed up, um, 1999, Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield 1, which was phenomenal, really good, really good um, shooter there. And uh, Battleborn, the Banner Saga Trilogy, Batman Return to Arkham, this actually has uh, the, the first two, Arkham City and Arkham Asylum, then I have here Arkham Knight, Batman Arkham Knight, awesome, awesome fucking game. And Borderlands. Okay, let's put this aside and make another pile over here. Um, Bloodborne. Alright, so now I'm done with the A's and the B's. Onto the C's. Maybe if I could put this. I don't want to make a big mess here. Um, here we got. Cat's Quest. Here we go. Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is the one that has the Zombie Chronicles edition. Zombie. Yeah. Uh, Call of Duty World War 2, which I heard wasn't that good, but I picked it up on Black Friday for a pretty cheap price. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, another one, um, one of my all-time favorites, but the original one that came out in the long time ago for the PS3. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I didn't like that one too much. Then I got The Crew, racing game from Ubisoft. And I got uh, the Insane Trilogy, Crash Bandicoot, cool game. I like all three of them. Part 3 was awesome. Then I got Cladoon Returns. This is like a like an 8-bit kind of like a RPG game. Put these back. All right. 
Then I have, I am pretty much done with the Bs now. Onto the Ds, the ABCs and all these. The deformers. Um, let me get rid of these. Put these back where they belong. So yeah, so deformers, a game from Game Trust. Um, heard mixed reviews on that. And I got Dark Siders Two, the Death Definitive Collection. Deadpool. Dead Synchro Sensity. Tomorrow comes today. This is a weird game. Ultra The Spirit Girls. Dangarumpa. Another episode. Um, yeah, this is a pretty cool. It's a, it's a pretty cool, memorable game that I played a long time ago. This is The Darkest Dungeon. Got this in Best Buy not too long ago. Haven't played it. Then uh, Destiny, The Taken King. The original Destiny 2, which I played the crap out of. Awesome, awesome game. Um, Devil May Cry, the HD uh, collection here. Deadlight, Director's Cut. Dishonored 2. Sonor Death of the Outsiders. This was really cool. Uh, the Devil May Cry uh, Definitive Edition from Capcom. The original Destiny. I spent I don't know how many hours playing this stupid game. I went crazy obsessed with this game. Really, really fun game. Awesome. A lot of memories. A lot of uh, online gaming with my buddies. The Division, Dragon's Dogma, Dead Rising 4, Frank's Big Package, Detroit Become Human, Dying Light, Dying Light. Oh, this is another A that I didn't show you guys. Um, Axum Verge. I'm actually playing this one. That's why I didn't. I didn't. I, it wasn't in the A's. This is a really cool um, 2D game, kind of like a uh, Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo. Really, really cool game. I recommend it if you've never played it. Definitely worth uh, checking out. Um, still got more D. One more D to go. And that is uh, Doom. This is a I got it on a steel book because I do have the the special box set. And onto the E's, Evolve, Elder Scrolls Online, The Evil Within Two. You were within a particular color. Earth Defense Force 4.1. Marvel Epic Pinball Collection. FIFA 18. These are the Fs. Let me get rid of the D's here. Put them back. Right. Let me get rid of the E's as well. 
Let's start off fresh with the F FIFA 18. Uh, FIFA 14. FIFA 16. And FIFA 15. I also got a Fire Pro Wrestling Day 1 Edition. Big fan of um, New Japan Pro Wrestling. <coughs> also got Far Cry Part 4 Limited Edition. Awesome, awesome game. I love Far Cry games. Far Cry Primal. And Far Cry Part 5. Also got Fallout 4, Game of the Year Edition, A Realm Reborn, this is Final Fantasy uh, 14, and the Final Fantasy Day 1 Edition of Hype HD, Hype Zero HD, Final Fantasy 15, which I actually platinum that one, For Honor, Onto the G's, Game of Thrones is a Telltale Edition. Awesome, awesome game. Guardians of the Galaxy, another Telltale game. Guilty Gear X Third fighting game. Steelbook of God of War. God of War on the PS4. I do. I have it on Steelbook because I have the. Box set that brought Cradles. Of course, um, God of War being one of my favorite um, titles for the PlayStation. I'm a big fan of God of War. God of War 3 Remastered on the PlayStation here. Only on the PlayStation. Geometry, Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved. God Eater 2. Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto 5. Awesome, awesome fucking game. Best selling game ever. Hitman, the definitive edition. Zero Dawn, Horizon Zero Dawn. That's the complete edition. I also have the original edition. And I have Has, has Been Heroes. Hell Divers, and Homefront: The Revolution. Little by little, I'm getting there. Little by little, we're getting there, guys. Marvel superheroes, Lego superheroes. Limbo inside. Injustice 2. Injustice 2, the legendary edition. Infamous Second Son. Inf In Infinity Factory. Knack. Here I go out of control with the J's and the K's and the I's and I just put them all together. Um, J-Star versus the Japanese stuff. Joe's Diner. This is a pretty cool concept. Uh, really cool game here. Joe's Diner. The Last Guardian. Telling Floor Part 2, King's Conquest, a complete uh, collection. I got here uh, Little Big Planet Part 3, L.A. Noir, one of the best games ever made, The Last of Us, and Lords of the Fallen, complete edition. 
Also got this game, uh, Lumo. Pretty cool uh, puzzle game. I, li I like it. And uh, the limited edition of uh, Life is Strange. Really, really cool concept. Uh, I'm a big fan of Life is Strange. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty, pretty good. Pretty uh, decent um, video game. It's unique. It has a pretty cool story. Of course, a game like that has to have a good story. So, because it's uh, based on reactions and and you know stuff. Monopoly, the fun family. Family Fun Pack, Mafia 3, I spent many, many hours playing this game, I really, really wanted it to Platinum, but it's a lot of shit to do, really good game, fantastic game, if you've never played it, definitely worth a shot. Mighty Number no. 9, this is a complete failure to kind of imitate uh, Mega Man in every possible way, and it didn't work out, um, I don't like that game at all. Mega Man Legacy Collection, awesome, awesome collection of games, and then of course Legacy Collection Part 2, this one has 7, 8, and 9, the first one has 1 through 6, really cool games if you've never played it, I highly recommend that, Mass Effect Androm Andromeda, and here we go with the Metal Gears, Metal Gear Ground Zero, 5, and uh, Metal Gear... Phantom Pain, the one edition, awesome game. I really, I really loved this game until like the thirty-first or thirty-second mission. Then after that, it became really repetitive. You could tell it was not a complete game. Um, Kojima had been fired, or he quit, or something happened there. Uh, he wasn't no longer in Konami, and I don't, I'm not sure if he finished the game or not. Then I got here Metal Gear Survive. A lot of people bash it. I thought, I thought it was alright. Mad Max, which I haven't played yet, but a lot of people praise it. A lot of people say it was really, really good. And I bought this a long time, like like about three years ago on a Black Friday for a cheap price. And a lot of people say it's really, really good. MLB The Show 2017. Um, MLB The Show 2016. MLB The Show 2014. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Infinite. Not 2, uh, just Infinite. My bad. Mortal Kombat XL. Awesome fucking game. Love Mortal Kombat. Madden 2015. Madden 2016. And the Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and Legacy Collection 2, which actually has all the Mega Man X 1 through X 8. Alright, so let's get rid of some of these. And make some more space here. And here I have. Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare. The, the Pac-Man Championship Edition, which is really, really, really fun. And it also has three extra games. Uh, Dig Dug, Pac-Man, and Galaga. Galaga, whatever. And I got uh, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mortar. Never played that. I got it for a cheap price, though. Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World. Cool game. Nocturnal. No. Natural Doctrine. Only on the PlayStation 4. Neo. Awesome game. Need for Speed Rivals. I haven't opened it yet. Just bought it. Got it on sale. Pretty cheap price. Nair Automata. This is actually a a game that I heard that was really, really good, uh, Metal Jesus, on his YouTube channel, he praises this game. He said it was really, really good. It's unique. And I'm I'm, I'm willing to check it out. I just need the time to play it. I need the time to sit down and actually um, explore it and play it. And I got 
NBK 2K14, LeBron was still in the Miami Heat. And NBK 2K16. And I have here Overwatch, which my friend's girlfriend's always playing that. She says it's good. Okami HD, which I remember playing this a very long time ago on the PS2. Really good game. Owlboy from Sodesco. Again, great indie company. One Piece, Pirate Warrior 3. Um, I'm going to kill this. One Chambara Chaos. This is a XC game, and this is like a box set type of game. Really cool. It looks like a cool game. I haven't gotten it, got to uh, spend time with it. This is my next to play game. Everybody says it's really cool. Outlast Trinity. I'm dying to check it out. Really want to play that one. Then I got Pharaonic. Persona 5, which I gave so much hours to. Really fantastic game. And uh, Prison Architect. And Prey. Okay. Moving on. Moving on, guys. We're moving on. We're all the way by the R's. Rad Rogers. This is a hidden gem. Really awesome game. I recommend it. Raiden 5, Director's Cut. You're into scroller. Uh, ver um, shooters. Um, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, Gold Edition. Awesome game. This is super creepy. Awesome fucking game. Road Rage. Resident Evil 6, Rocket League, Rabbids Invasion, Ratchet and Clank, RBI Baseball 2016, this is more like a fun baseball game, nothing serious, it's just like an arcade fun type of game, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Um, Resident Evil 4 and Rogue Stormers. Stormers. And I got Rios. Another Sadesco. And Rock Bolshers. Director's Cart DX. And Resident Evil Revelations. Okay. Then we have a couple of other kind of box sets here. Shantae, Half Hero, Half Genie, Half Genie, Half Hero. Um, awesome fucking game. If you've never played this, I highly recommend this. Very great 2D platformer game. And then this is another kind of like... This is a Senran Kajura. Very... um. Very graphic. Um, if you're not into those weird Japanese uh, games, the showgirls, you know, you know what I mean. South Park, The Stick of Truth, Shadow Warrior, Star Wars Battlefront 2, SGZH. Yes. School Girl Zombie Hunter. Saints Row. Star Ocean Day One Edition. South Park, The Fractured But Whole. The Sexy Brutal. Shovel Knight, one of my favorite 2D games of all time. Really, really fun. All time, yes, I said all time. Sniper Elite 3. This game, I, I wasn't a big fan of that. 
Sonic Mania Plus. This was really cool. Star Wars Battlefront. Song of the Deep. And the Sega Genesis Classics, which has over 50 Sega Genesis games from their classic era 16 bit. Shadow of the Beast. This is a rare game. I think from Europe. Stardew Valley. I've heard great shit about this. Um, actually, never played it, but I heard good stuff about it. Cinemora EX. Awesome, awesome vertical. Uh, no, horizontal shooter. Very, very fun. Very addicting. If you've never played, if you never played Cinemora, do yourself a, fa a favor and get it. Got the Street Fighter uh, 30 year anniversary. Shaq Fu, a legend reborn. Actually, it was pretty fun. A lot of people bash on it. I thought it was fun. You know where you're getting yourself into a beat em up, beat em up game like that. Shadow of the Colossus remastered. I got here uh, Steam World Heist, Steam World Collection, Steam World Dig. Uh, part 2 came out not too long ago, and I heard it was fantastic. And I got uh, Super Bomberman. Big fan of the Bomberman games. And Super Dungeon Brothers. Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection. Uncharted, Lost Legacy. That's the one that came after four. Uh, the Book of Unwritten Tales, too. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I love those type of fighting games. This is like a box set uh, with a pin here. Valkyria, Valkyria Revolution, the Vanguard Edition. Until Dawn, which is kind of like a movie, like a horror movie that you're in and you got to make decisions and try to make everyone survive. Really cool game, man. Awesome game. One of the early PlayStation 4 games. Troll, Troll and I. To quote it. I gave this game so many tries, and I just, I don't know, for some reason, I just didn't get into it. I don't know. I heard it was good, and people love it, people like it, but I didn't, personally, I didn't get into it. And this is uh, Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. Thief. Tearaway Unfolded Crafted Edition. Really fun game. It's kind of weird, but... Once you get the hang of it, you'll like it. It's fun. Tesla Grad. Another Sodesco um, adventure kind of game. The Town of Light. Titanfall 2. My buddy says it's really, really good. So I haven't had a chance. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutants in Manhattan. Velocity. This is actually the second part. And then Vampire. I'll play that one soon. Um, Ziggurat. This is another game that Metal Jesus praises. And says it's really good. This is the Steelbook edition of Yakuza Kiwami. And this is Xenon Valkyrie Plus. This actually, this is a limited run game, so I'm going to save it for later. And uh, Wupu, Wupu, Special Edition, Nurse Desco. Wolf Among Us, really, really good uh, Telltale game. And the Walking Dead, another Telltale game. Got uh, here, What Remains of a Edith Finch. Wild Guns Reload. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. With the slip cover. Watch Dogs. And I also have uh, the second part, Watch Dogs 2. WWE 2K15, 
WWE 2K16. And then the other Walking Dead, the another Telltale game. This is the complete first season. Wolfenstein, the Old Blood. And that's about it for the regular PlayStation games. And um, these are all my PlayStation games right now that I have in my collection. I'm also going to keep on with my limited run section now. I'm going to show you guys. Just putting these away real quick. Make some room for the limited run beauties that I that I have. All right. So, without further ado, I'm gonna start off with the box sets of my limited run. I got this um, Windjammer Collector Edition, which actually comes with uh, with a uh, frisbee. Super cool edition. All my limited run stuff is sealed. I have no plans of opening them. At least most of them are sealed. I don't know if all of them are. Then I got Next Machina. I got Phantom Breaker Overdrive. Really cool set. Um, Wise Origins. Cool set there. And uh, Lawbreakers Collector's Edition. Cool, cool stuff. Let it run. And then Thumbleweed Park on the, P the PS4 edition. I also have a Nintendo Switch version of this as well. So those are those are my box set limited run uh collection right here stacked up right there now i'm gonna go with the limited run stuff um absolute drift zen edition the chariot n plus plus i guess that's how you say it skull girls um, this is the second encore. Slip cover. Kill the bad guy. Here you go, kill the bad guy. And this is Future Unfolding. They're all independent, um, small company titles. You know? Then the Windjammers. One way heroic heroics Metronomicon the Metronomicon this is like a dance it's like a dance game Home a unique horror adventure Senko no Ronde two Japanese titles Kill the names. The Bit Trip. Carol Blaster. Um, the Oregon Trail, the Complete Edition. Typo Man. Revisited. Revised. This is sort of like a box set as well. The River City Me Melee. Kind of has like the old school Nintendo um, box set box here. Um, with the fifty four ninety nine sticker there. Looks like a lot like a Ransom City. I you was know, trying to copy that game. Uh, no, no Sync. Kingdom, New Lands, Headlander, these are all limited run games by the way, Thundered, the Eldritch Edition, 
Neo wall with, with the VR mode included. Observer. Magical 2. Butcher. This is a Cosmic Heroine. Antigua Lost. Rain World. Dragon Sinker. A scapegoat. Part 2. Total Temple Deluxe. And... Pixel Junk Monsters 2. Um, Mechal Tales. This is like a 2D platformer there. This is called Factorum 90. Factorum 90. Caladrius Blaze. Awesome game. Dragon Fantasy. Special Edition. Stealth Inc. A Clone in the Dark Ultimate Edition. And the Swapper. The Bunker. Corovexular E. I have no idea what this is. One of those Japanese games. Ace of Seafood. Bard's Gold. New and Tasty Odd Odd World Abe's Odyssey. Rive. Mutant Mods. Muds. Super challenge. Thomas was alone. Shadow Complex Remastered. Really, really good game, that one. And Lily. Yesterday's Origins. Wise Origins, Kaleir Extended Cut, Next Machina, also have that on, uh, on the box set, at, at Divine Hearts, I actually got two copies of that, I ordered two by mistake, my bad, money wasted for no reason. Um, Xenon Valkyrie Plus, Double Dragon 4, Nero Voider, Limited Run, Limited Edition, my bad, um, Drive, 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 this is another version of Wise Origin, Or Eves, I don't, I don't know. Uh, 2064, read, read only memories. And then Crawl. Finishing up, guys. Bear with me. We're at the 40 minute mark here. And we got here, um, Enter the Gungeon. Pretty, pretty good, uh, indie title there. Late Shift, The Bit Trip, Screen Cheat, The Revenant Saga, this is a cool RPG game, and A Lethal League, 
pretty cool fun game um they try to make it as addicting as possible um it kind of works but it's not that addicting it's it is all right splasher was a fun one iron cryptical risk of rain flint hook And Fury, Definitive Edition. Everspace Galactic Edition. Uh, this one also came with a soundtrack. I have it there somewhere. Pretty cool soundtrack. And Bast Bastion. Exile's End. From Exceed. I like that company actually. And Saturday morning RPG. Cyrilim. And the last but not least, a volume. Which is also a virtual reality mode included in it. So that's about it. That's my entire um limited run games. And also my entire PlayStation 4 games which i have a lot i haven't counted them but it's it's a lot so far and i'm planning to keep on collecting and planning planning to keep on buying more and hopefully um next time i'll make a, a bigger video with more stuff that i added and yeah i'm a big time collector a big time physical media guy big time video game guy and i love playstation 4 i think it's the best uh video game console out there and the they have so many great games and it's hard not to buy these games anyways with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoy playing the playstation 4 as much as i do and enjoy playing and collecting physical media stuff because that's the only way to go until next time i'll see you around bye